So CHR have been built two plants certified by the World Economic Forum. This is the only two battery plants in the world so far being certified as the lighthouse. Is there a car that lasts a lifetime? Elon Musk is making it happen right now. Tesla's batteries can go about 300,000 to 500,000 miles, but soon they'll make new ones that can go a million miles. That's a game changer. Imagine the possibilities. But how exactly is Tesla making this happen? The rumors are flying, but in a recent interview, Contemporary Amperex Technology Limited confirmed they're ready to manufacture these incredible batteries. Elon Musk spilled the beans about a new battery type that's built to last. This bad boy can stick around for a whopping 16 years and cover up to 1.5 million miles. That's a serious upgrade from the earlier 1.2 million miles estimate. A million mile battery doesn't mean you could drive millions of miles on one charge. It means the battery can power your ride for a million miles or more before it starts losing its juice. You'll still need to juice it up every few hundred miles to keep it going. Most batteries today start fizzling out about after 1,000 full charges, which usually lasts around 8 years and 150,000 miles, but this new battery, it can handle way over 4,000 full charges. This million mile battery is like the superhero of batteries, designed to last longer and perform better than the ones we're used to. They're talking about using some fancy new chemicals like lithium, nickel, manganese, cobalt, oxide, or NMC for short. These chemicals pack a punch, offering more power and lasting longer. Imagine your battery being able to hold 30% more energy and lasting up to 5 times longer. Plus, they've tweaked the structure of the cathode and anode to make them work better and be less likely to get damaged. With these changes, they've managed to boost efficiency and cut the risk of damage by 10 and 50% respectively. And they've souped up the battery management system, too. Now it can keep an eye on things and make sure the battery lasts longer and performs at its best. It's all about making EVs better, cleaner, and more efficient. The company's all set to start making these batteries, but they're waiting for orders to roll in first. While a lot of buzz is about Tesla, they haven't officially announced anything yet. But we do know Tesla's been working on this tech with some smart folks, so it's likely they'll use it in their cars soon. Oh, and the battery supplier for Tesla has made a big breakthrough in battery tech that could keep EVs running smoothly for years. Now, this new battery tech, called FP, is cheaper because it packs less energy per kilogram compared to the usual lithium-ion batteries. There's another thing. Sodium-ion batteries, also made by the same company, use salt, which has more lithium in it. We're not still entirely sure where they're headed. If they offer similar energy levels as other batteries but cost more, it's a bit puzzling. We've seen Tesla testing the waters with them in their recent YSRWD model. It's like a trial run to see if people dig the idea of LFP cars. There's a bunch of other cool battery tech out there too, like the campus's silicon anode Leon battery, QuantumScape's solid state lime metal battery, and Cattle's condensing battery. They all pack a punch with about 500 watt hours per kilogram. LFP and sodium ion batteries seem to be aiming for the cheaper car market though. That's why you're seeing a lot of Chinese cars rocking the new LFP batteries. They're getting put through the ringer right now. The thing is, current batteries have a limit on how many times you can charge them. Most are good for about a thousand volt charges. Car battery warranties are getting beefed up too, from around 8 to 15 years and 150,000 miles. It shows car batteries are getting better with warranties lasting longer, which means they're built to last. Imagine a battery that could last for a whopping 1 million miles. That's over 4,000 full charges, which is pretty amazing. Well, this Chinese company that supplies batteries to Tesla has come up with just that. Their battery packs can last up to 16 years and cover around 1.2 million miles. Plus, you might even be able to use it in another car down the road. This new type of battery is super high-tech, made with fancy stuff like Ampex technology from Cattle. It's a bit pricier than regular batteries, but with a lifespan like that, it's worth it. Imagine having a battery that's like a long-term investment for your car. Cattle, the company behind this tech, is betting big on the electric vehicle industry. They're pumping cash into more research to make batteries even better. Now, how does this new battery fit with Tesla's rides? Well, Tesla's always tweaking their tech, right? They're so focused on two main types of batteries, M3P and lithium-ion. N3P batteries or lithium phosphate are mixed with manganese to pack in more energy. These babies are perfect for Tesla's long-range models, like the Model 2. Tesla's been tinkering with a type of battery called lithium iron phosphate, or LFP for short. 
These batteries are tough cookies. They can handle rough weather like a champ. Plus, they've got better energy density, which means they can store even more power. But will Tesla's upcoming Model 2, codenamed Redwood, get the LFP treatment too? Well, maybe. But swapping in a million mile battery might mean shaking up the design and guts of the Model 2. And that could jack up the cost by a cool five to ten thousand dollars. The upcoming Tesla Model 2 might be pricier than we thought, but possibly edging past the initial $25,000 mark. And that could put it in a tough spot against rivals like GM or Nissan, especially with cheaper options from Chinese players like BYD. See, most Model 2 customers are more about bang for their buck than breaking distance records. They're cool with battery range that covers their daily grind, which usually falls under 200 to 250 miles. Throwing in a million mile battery might mean redoing the Model 2's inside and design, which could rack up some serious development costs. Plus, surveys in North America show that 60% of EV buyers are good with a range of 250 miles or less, all for their daily drive, so slapping a million mile battery in there might be like bringing a cannon to a water balloon fight for many customers. But the Model 2 is still set to rock some cool features. Tesla's teaming up with cattle to juice up their ride with fast charging, up to 350 kilowatts, and sweet cold weather performance. These cattle batteries aren't just fancy, they bag the 2024 Auto Best Technology Award, showing off their innovation chops. Pumping out these bad boys at Gigafactory for the Model 2 marks a big win for both Tesla and cattle, leading the charge in the electric vehicle world. One cool thing about these LFP batteries is how speedy they charge up in just 15 minutes. You can get almost a full tank of juice. So what's in store for the Tesla Model 2? Well, rumor has it it'll zip up to the charger at a blazing 350 kilowatts, and it'll rock those long-lasting battery packs. Plus, these new LFP battery packs pack more punch, with around 10 to 15 percent more energy in them. That means more miles on a single charge and better efficiency, all while keeping production costs down. A more budget-friendly Model 2, that's sure to turn heads. Tesla's million-mile battery, which cuts out pricey cobalt, looks set to rule the EV world. Meanwhile, lithium iron and phosphate batteries, once thought to be a no-go for EVs due to their energy density, are getting a second look for their fast charging and cost savings. Getting rid of cobalt is key. It's the priciest part of lithium-ion batteries, making up a hefty 20% of the production cost. Even though cobalt's price has dropped lately, it's still way higher than other battery materials like lithium and nickel. To make electric cars as affordable as gas guzzlers, we need to cut costs big time. Cobalt, a key ingredient in batteries, has been a real headache. Miners are even scoring the ocean floor for it, but here's where it gets tricky. Cobalt often comes from places with sketchy labor practices, stirring up some serious drama. But there's hope on the horizon. A new chemical mix could slash battery costs to just 60 to 80 bucks per kilowatt hour. Some say prices might even dip below 100 bucks by 2023 or 2024 and hit 60 bucks by 2030. Thanks for hanging out with us. If you liked what you heard, give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe to join our community. Don't forget to ring that notification bell so you never miss out on our awesome videos. We love hearing from you, so drop us a comment below. Until next time, stay safe and enjoy the ride.